everybody. Um, on behalf of the Government of Canada today, I would like to announce an additional approximately $50 million worth of military aid for Ukraine. This will consist of approximately $15 million worth of aid for winter equipment purchases. Hats, gloves, boots, parkas, the items that Ukrainian soldiers need on the front lines will be purchased by the Government of Canada, primarily from Canadian suppliers. Secondly, an additional $15 million for the purchase of cameras for drones. Uh, we have already supplied Ukraine with over 50 cameras for drones made by Canadian supplier, and we will continue to supply such cameras for drones. Thirdly, in the area of communications services and satellite services, we will supply Ukraine with another $2 million uh, for satellite services. And in partnership with Telesat, this will enable Ukraine to continue to communicate effectively with European and North American partners. And then finally, we know that Ukraine has been uh, needing and asking for additional uh, artillery, in particular the 155 million millimeter artillery and Canada will supply additional 155 millimeter artillery for Ukraine in its fight against Russia's unjust and illegal invasion of its sovereign territory. Yesterday I was in Poland to announce that approximately 40 Canadian Armed Forces engineers will be training Ukrainian uh, soldiers in the area of mining, demining and explosives together with their Polish counterparts. En français aussi, euh, aujourd'hui j'annonce que le Canada va fournir l'aide militaire traditionnelle à peu près 50 millions de dollars euh, pour les vêtements pour l'hiver, des gants, des manteaux, euh, des pantalons, des bottes. Ça c'est les choses très importantes pour euh, l'équipement pendant l'hiver. Deuxièmement, les caméras pour les drones, nous allons fournir les caméras additionnelles pour les drones pour utilisation en Ukraine. Troisièmement, les services de communication par satellite en partenariat avec Telesat, ça aidera l'Ukraine pour communiquer avec l'Amérique du Nord et les partenaires en Europe. Et finalement, l'artillerie, les munitions, le 155 mm munitions, c'est important pour l'Ukraine à ce moment et le Canada va être là pour l'Ukraine avec cet équipement. Et comme j'ai annoncé hier, les ingénieurs canadiens de forces armées canadiennes vont aller en Pologne pour entraîner les ingénieurs euh, ukrainiens aussi avec les explosifs, le minage et déminage. Et maintenant, je pourrais euh, répondre à vos questions. Can you give us a timetable about how long it will take to, um, until those uh, supplies will arrive in Ukraine? In the coming weeks. In particular, we know that winter is coming. Canada has a particular expertise in uh, winter clothing and combat in this area, and we will be uh, supplying that gear in the coming weeks. Approximately uh, 500 pieces of winter clothing and equipment will be traveling to Ukraine aussi tout que possible. armored vehicles. So is this really enough? Are you really responding to what they've asked for? Actually, uh, I announced in June that Canada will be sending 39 brand new armored vehicles to Ukraine made by GDLS, a Canadian supplier. Uh, the reason why we are sending those armored vehicles to Ukraine is because Ukraine directly asked us for those armored vehicles, knowing we have the capability to send them to Ukraine. Furthermore, uh, Ukraine has specifically asked for winter clothing, and that
that is why we are responding with 500 pieces, 500,000 pieces of uh, winter clothing, and in particular, hats, uh, gloves, boots, and pants, and parkas. Those are the items that we know will be useful for Ukrainian soldiers on the front line. Thank you. What should be a NATO response on the nuclear threat? We will be discussing the nuclear threat tomorrow when the defense ministers meet, of course. Uh, but we have to remember that we need to continue to supply Ukraine with many types of equipment and military aid as it seeks to retain its sovereignty and uh, its stability. And that's exactly what Canada has been there to do with already committing approximately $600 million worth of aid. We are also training up to two, uh, training Ukrainian soldiers with up to 225 Canadian armed forces in England, training engineers in Poland. We've trained over 33,000 Ukrainian soldiers since 2015 under Operation Unifier. So our approach is a three-pronged approach. We are assisting with military equipment as I've announced today we are assisting with training as I've just mentioned and we are assisting with transportation from our hub in Presswick Scotland where we have three CC 170s uh, we have transported approximately five million pounds of military aid from countries all across uh, the Allied network to make sure that military aid gets to Ukraine NATO's own defences. When uh, concretely can we expect Canada to have its uh, NATO-led battle group upgraded to brigade level? I just met with EFP battle group members this morning to discuss our plan in the short, medium and long term to surge to brigade level. Uh, we are making sure that all allies are in bo on board with committing additional resources and personnel as we surge to brigade level. But make no mistake, we have been the leader of the framework nation since 2015 in Latvia and Canada will continue to be there in support of the defence and deterrence on NATO's eastern flank. Thank you.